Well, Boris Johnson seems to think that the Conservatives can still win uh, the next election. Perhaps he thinks he'll be back in as leader by then and he can pull it off. Uh, certainly, I think there's a lot of scepticism when it comes to the Tory party's chances. You haven't really seen them recover in the polls or get any uh, boost from Rishi Sunak coming in. An important dynamic to consider as well, of course, is that Richard Tice is pledging to stand reform UK candidates in basically every seat, including against every Conservative MP. And of course, Conservative MPs at the last election uh, were given a free run by the Brexit Party, Nigel Farage standing down Brexit Party candidates. So I do think the dynamics of the next general election will be very different from the one we saw in 2019. What's interesting, though, I've seen a consistent trend where actually voters want to see an election sooner rather than later. Now, I guess this is because so much has changed since the last general election in terms of the public not being given a say, not even Conservative members being given a say when it came to the removal of the last uh, PM and who would come in. And so you find this situation with Redfield and Wilton there where you see 52% of Brits think Parliament should call an immediate general election. Now, you might look at that and think, well, of course, Labour voters, Lib Dem voters would want that to try and change the government. But even with Conservative voters, 37% of Conservative voters actually want an immediate at general election versus 52% who don't. And when you see, unsurprisingly, there of Labour voters, you see 72% in favour versus 18% against. Specifically, when you go into the timing of this as well, it's quite interesting. And nearly a majority there, 47% of British voters think there should be an election this year versus 31% who say sometime in 2024 and 9% who say in January 2025, which I believe is the latest uh, point Rishi Sunak or whoever's Prime Minister by the time of the next election, who knows, that's the latest point they could call an election. But interesting to note there that more voters support an election being held this year than either in 2024 or indeed 2025 combined. Uh, let me know in the comments below, guys, does that surprise you? Would you like to see an immediate general election? Would you like to see in a general election uh, this year? And if so, why? And who would you be voting for? Really keen to hear from you. So do let me know in the comments below. Please do whack this video a quick thumbs up. And of course, as ever, cheers for watching.